Did you know that eating peanuts with this can actually harm your health? Peanuts, a natural elixir from the ground, also have both good and bad food pairings. Even beneficial peanuts must be consumed correctly to be good for your health. If you eat them with unhealthy foods, it can actually harm your health. That's why we've prepared this for the protecting your health. We will tell you about three foods that are the worst to eat with peanuts. And three foods that are the best to eat with peanuts. Hello everyone. Are there any of you who haven't subscribed yet? Please press subscribe and like right now. Share this with your loved ones, and please introduce Dr. John to many others. We will continue to deliver the best health information, packed with dedication, just like a gift, for our dear followers. Rich in healthy oils and proteins, peanuts are a globally recognized health food. Today's star is the peanut, a bean that grows in the soil. Many people think of peanuts as a type of nut, but they are actually a sort of bean. In fact, peanuts have a higher protein content than chickpeas and peas, making them a superior protein-rich bean. Recently, peanut butter has become incredibly popular for its diet benefits. Peanuts have more healthy fats than any other bean, and they are rich in various nutrients. Historically, they have been used not only as food but also in traditional medicine for treating diseases. Peanuts have been prescribed to treat gastritis and stomach pain, moisten the lungs to prevent pneumonia and lung diseases, and even relieve swelling, stiffness, and tingling pain in the limbs due to poor circulation. However, despite their historical popularity, they have been avoided due to their high calorie content and commonness. At one time, the old saying that, work for peanut. But when you look at each of their health components, you are going to fall in love with it. They are indeed a food that must be deliberately consumed for health. But don't just eat peanuts on their own. If you're eating peanuts for health, you must remember today's recommended foods. And the miraculous recipes to enjoy them with. But, everyone. Did you know that even such healthy peanuts can harm your health if eaten with certain foods? Now, I will tell you about three foods that are the worst to eat with peanuts and three foods that maximize the health benefits of peanuts. Firstly, the worst food to eat with peanuts is actually old peanuts themselves. You might eat peanuts mixed with other nuts or seasoned with sugar. But this can lead to the formation of carcinogens which is truly a dangerous method. Let's clear up a misconception about peanuts. There's a prejudice that peanuts are high in calories and therefore bad for diets, especially losing weights. According to the FDA's nutrition data, roasted peanuts have 567 kilocalories per 100 grams while the same amount of walnuts has 671 kilocalories and almonds have 594 kilocalories, which is relatively low. Many people think that the fat in peanuts is bad, right? In reality, peanuts contain over 50 grams of fat per 100 grams. This high fat content makes it possible to produce peanut butter and peanut oil. Surprisingly, 87% of the fat in peanuts consists of unsaturated fats like oleic and linoleic acids, which are excellent for vascular health. Wait, have you heard of linoleic acid before? Exactly. It's a component of our brain. So, if you frequently consume linoleic acid, it helps build and strengthen brain cells, making it essential for your diet. Moreover, the most important aspect is that it's excellent for vascular health. If you get stains or grease on your clothes, you usually clean them with oil, right? It works the same way in our blood vessels. Cholesterol clings to the walls of your vessels as fatty deposits. So consuming healthy fats like those in peanuts can help wash away the cholesterol. Only then can your blood become clear and clean. 
even if you eat all the healthy foods, they must travel through your vessels. So taking care of your vascular health is the most important thing. But the biggest issue here is that peanuts contain a lot of oil, which can easily become rancid. Rancid oil in peanuts doesn't eliminate cholesterol, but instead creates residue in your vessels. Moreover, there's a more serious problem. The germ part of the peanut can harbor invisible mold. If poorly stored and the oil becomes rancid, this mold can grow and produce aflatoxin, a potent liver toxin agent. The problem is that no matter how high the temperature you use or if you boil it, it doesn't disappear and can cause serious liver toxicity issues. So, it's crucial. Always consume fresh peanuts that don't smell musty due to rancidity, rather than consuming products that contain a mix of various nuts. It's recommended to focus on eating just peanuts. Store the amount you plan to eat in the refrigerator and keep the rest frozen. And for peanuts that are sugar-coated and seasoned, they tend to become old and lose nutritional value quickly. So you must be even more careful when consuming them. So do you always have to worry when eating peanuts? No, there's a miraculous method. Recently among the younger generation, the first recommended way to consume peanuts is peanut butter. Are you surprised? You might think that peanut butter is unhealthy, but not the commercially sold sweet and salty calorie-packed peanut butter products. You should eat homemade peanut butter made from freshly ground peanuts. Peanut butter is the best way to consume peanuts for weight loss and for heart and vascular health. As mentioned earlier, peanuts are high in fat. Simply roast them dry in a pan and then grind them in a blender to create a smooth and creamy butter. That's perfect to spread on bread or dip into. This is the health secret of peanut butter. Here's a crucial point. When grinding peanuts, the peanut skin is very important. Inside the hard outer shell, there's a red peanut skin. And this is key. Red peanut skin contains resveratrol, which is three times more than what's found in grapes and wine, and it's a miraculous anti-disease substance. The antioxidant properties of roasted peanuts are even superior to green tea, making peanut skin extract a natural antioxidant, rightfully earning its nickname. It is even used as a raw material in pharmaceuticals. Therefore, for anti-inflammatory and health-protecting benefits, as well as to combat health-harming cells. And to maintain youth, you must include peanuts in your diet. But why is peanut butter now considered essential for diets? The reason is that the fat in peanuts plays a great role in burning visceral fat inside the body. Further, it has an amazing role in burning and cleaning the fat stuck to the intestines. Moreover, it's full of proteins, vitamins, and other nutrients. And it also provides excellent satiety, which is really great. In fact, studies from American medical schools have shown that people who included peanut butter in their diet had significantly better cardiovascular health and a higher rate of visceral fat reduction. So, all our Dr. John subscribers, make sure you include peanut butter in your diet. Secondly, the worst food pairing with peanuts is squid. Wait a minute. You might think that dried squid and peanuts are the perfect partners for beer. Tasting great together and seemingly a good match. But it's not good for your health. What does this mean? Well, it's actually fine to eat squid and peanuts together. The reason is that when you consume squid with beer, the taurine in squid helps break down alcohol. It's good for relieving hangovers and even eliminates the smell of alcohol. However, squid inherently has high cholesterol levels. So it was believed that consuming it with peanuts, which contain healthy fats that can dissolve cholesterol, was a good idea. 
Yes, it's a good choice to neutralize beer by eating squid. And to neutralize the bad components of squid by eating peanuts. But here's a question. Is this really a good combination? Just because foods pair well, doesn't mean they're necessarily good for our health. Here's the key point today. No matter how well you balance the food, it's the same. If it's unhealthy. However, there is a healthy way to consume squid and peanuts. Simply boil the squid and dip it into homemade peanut butter. The taurine in squid provides energy and the high-quality animal protein from the squid. Along with the excellent bean protein from peanuts creates the best synergistic effect. The last and the best combination with peanut is potatoes. Peanuts and potatoes are truly a perfect match. Though it might sound a bit unfamiliar. Today, I'll introduce you to a recipe for peanut potato soup. First, make peanut butter as previously described. Then combine it with potatoes and milk to create the soup. This dish is excellent for diabetes, and it's particularly effective in treating heartburn and symptoms of gastritis. As we age, many people suffer from heartburn due to a weakening stomach. If you're unable to eat well due to severe gastritis, you could experience dehydration, loss of strength, and even a drop in blood pressure. That's why it's crucial to consume foods that are gentle on the stomach and can help treat gastritis. Peanuts are incredibly beneficial. They contain a remarkably high amount of fiber, which protects against the strong acids in the stomach. By trapping sugars and preventing their absorption, reducing the risk of metabolic syndromes like diabetes by 30%. Additionally, the inner skin of peanuts contains twice as much vitamin E compared to almonds, which acts as a protective shield for our cells against reactive oxygen species. Exceeding the daily recommended intake with just 10 peanuts. However, to fully benefit from the vitamin E in peanuts, it's essential to have vitamin C present. And that's where potatoes come into play. Potatoes, which are rich in vitamin C, can enhance the effectiveness of peanut consumption tenfold, creating an optimal anti-aging diet. Moreover, potatoes are known as a natural remedy for gastritis. The starch in potatoes heals and restores the stomach lining damaged by stomach acid, making them an excellent match with the dietary fiber in peanuts. This combination not only maintains the youthfulness of cells and organs, but also keeps the skin firm. Now, let's address a key point in the recipe. Potatoes are carbohydrates and many worry about blood sugar levels. But if you convert the starch in potatoes into resistant starch by boiling them thoroughly, and then cooling them, this issue is perfectly resolved. You can then blend these chilled potatoes with peanuts to form a smooth mixture. The proteins in peanuts and potatoes work together to strengthen muscles, making them a truly optimal combination. Lastly, the third worst food pairing with peanuts is surprisingly anchovies. Aren't you surprised? You might often enjoy stir-fried and chow vice with peanuts as a side dish. And while it tastes good, it's not nutritionally compatible and chow vice known as the calcium kings of the sea contain more calcium than milk, but the absorption rate of calcium from anchovies is unfortunately low. So they should ideally be consumed with foods that maximize calcium uptake, while it might seem like a good idea to eat them with nuts. This actually hinders calcium absorption from anchovies. Because the phosphorus in peanuts forms an insoluble compound with anchovy calcium. This compound can stress the kidneys. Potentially leading to kidney stones, inflammation, and even health-harming cells. Therefore, it's healthier to enjoy anchovies. And peanuts separately to maximize the health benefits of both. Lastly, the best food to pair with peanuts is bananas. 
How should you enjoy them? It's simple. Dipping bananas into the homemade peanut butter I previously introduced turns it into a top-notch health tonic. Knowing how it benefits your body can enhance its effects even further. First off, bananas are often hailed as a leading food for diets because they're rich in dietary fiber, which helps maintain a feeling of fullness for a long time. Additionally, bananas are nutrient-rich packed with potassium and magnesium, which are absorbed directly by the muscles upon consumption, quickly restoring your energy levels. Moreover, potassium helps expel sodium from the body, enhancing the vascular cleansing effects of peanuts to create a fantastic synergistic impact. Wait, there's more about the magnesium in banana. It has another amazing benefit. Magnesium can help alleviate depression and increase feelings of happiness. This is where it forms the perfect pairing with peanuts. The probiotic fibers in peanuts act as excellent stimulants for gut microbiota. This not only helps with the intestinal movements, but also connects the nerve fibers between the gut and the brain for the prevention of depression and to maintain mental health. It's crucial to consume bananas and peanuts together. You can blend bananas with a handful of peanuts. Or simply dip bananas into homemade peanut butter for a delicious and healthy treat. Let's summarize everything we've learned about pairing peanuts with other foods. First, it's crucial to avoid old, rancid peanuts because they can be very dangerous. Always opt for fresh peanuts. The best way to enjoy peanuts is by grinding them with their red skins to make homemade peanut butter. You can use this as a salad dressing, or dip healthy vegetables in it to aid digestion and enhance health benefits. Additionally, instead of eating peanuts with squid, it's better to consume them separately, but pairing peanuts with potatoes is highly recommended. Avoid combining peanuts with anchovies, and instead, Enjoy them with bananas for a joy-boosting health tonic that you must include in your diet. Peanuts, the tasty beans from the ground, should be carefully paired with compatible foods to enhance your health. Thank you for spending time with me. If you found today's video helpful, please subscribe and like. And don't forget to share it with your family and friends. I'll always pray for your health and happiness. Thank you.